Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, another weekly vlog. I am showing the, you the after of my nail polish collection that I just went through and got rid of a few and then just kind of reorganized them because they were a mess. I'm gonna show that to you now. The whole thing started because I, you know, I took my polish off and I was like, what color am I gonna pick? And I opened up the drawer and it was a mess. And I was like, okay, it is time to go ahead and organize it and get rid of some that I'm not using. So I'm gonna go back through and show you guys kind of how I decluttered it and um, then tomorrow you can find out what color I actually picked out to paint them tonight and for the rest of the week. So let's start this week in the life off with decluttering and organizing my nail polish drawer. So while I pick out today's color, I thought I would just kind of rearrange it a little bit with you guys. I'm also guinea pig sitting while my youngest is getting dressed. This is like a little, um, what's Fisher Price? It came with a little baby like shopping cart. It was supposed to be like to put groceries in and stuff. And Bean loves this thing. She usually has a little blanket in there, but it's in the washer. But she cuddles up in there. She takes naps. My youngest carries her around the house in there. She sits on her desk while she does school. So she's just hanging out in her little basket. I'm going to set the camera down and kind of organize, maybe get rid of a few. Maybe. I don't know. I've gotten rid of a lot already. So this is already pretty, I don't want to say it's minimized because it's not. But it's still, I got rid of a lot of the ones I didn't want. In and out of love, never get enough. We never seem to get older. When things are going right, we seem to have the time. But when it's hard, you just grow cold up. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep And I have room to grow so depending on if I grew in a pink category or a purple category or a plum category I can kind of seep over into the next one I put all the neutrals right here along this line I put these three back here which are brand new but I don't like them I have some of my extra nail treatment in the back some extra nail stickers this is all kind of like either things that I only use seasonally like orange and then blues which I don't like but sometimes the girls like and then I have black which we usually only use for like some type of nail design uh, and then a couple reds. That's kind of the nobody really wants to use a category. And then I have two things of pinks because I love all the pinks. And then I have purples and plums. And then like I said, neutrals are on this side. It's a new day and we are in my bathroom. And if you're wondering why my hair looks like this, it's because I washed it last night and I'm getting ready to, do, I'm getting ready to style it for the first time since getting my hair cut. If you watched my last day in the life, I got my hair cut in the middle of that week. And I shared in that video that I love the way she did my hair, but the true test was going to be, was I going to be able to style it myself? So I'm going to attempt to style it the way that she did, which basically she used a flat iron to curl it, which to me blows my mind because I can't do that. But this part up here was kind of curly and then she left the ends kind of blunt. Knowing my limitations with a flat iron are more than they are with a curling iron, I'm going to start by trying to use a curling iron. I've got several different sizes. So this is a one inch, I'm pretty sure, curling iron. And I'm going to attempt to do what she did. I'm going to use fairly large chunks just to see if that gives me kind of the same look that I, that I got when she did my hair. So we will see. But I thought I'd bring you guys along with me because hopefully I'm not the only one that kind of judges their haircut based on like... You go to the salon, it looks great. You get home, you try to do it yourself, and it looks terrible. Uh, I'm hoping I'm not the only one that has that issue. Okay, that doesn't look too bad, but it's more curly at the ends, I think, than it was when she did it. Anyway, while I'm doing this, I guess I will tell you guys what's up with us lately. In the last vlog, I talked about the fact that we bought a couch, and we did. Um, it is going to be a long time, supposedly, until it comes. They said at least 13 weeks. I'm hoping it comes in sooner than that, but I'd rather it at least be 13 weeks than longer than 13 weeks. That's kind of my other fear is like, we're planning on 13 weeks, but what if it's longer? So anyway, we have some people coming today to look at our current couch. We listed our current couch on Facebook Marketplace before we actually ordered our couch because when we were looking at the couch initially, the guy said, oh yeah, I could have this here by this weekend. And we were like, oh, we got to hurry up and try to sell our couch because we don't have room for two couches. So we went ahead and listed it. And then a couple days later went and bought the couch 
that we're waiting for. And he's like, oh yeah, 13 weeks. Well, by that point, we'd already had quite a few offers on our current couch. And so you've got to hit that sweet spot between not selling it too soon and not having a couch for literally months but also not turning down offers and then waiting till the last minute and then maybe not being able to sell it and then having the new couch come in and having two couches. So that's kind of where we are right now. And we have some people coming in, coming in, that's like I'm a store. Some people coming today at 1.30. So he said that they would pay for it when they came if they wanted it. And then they would come and get it after they moved into their place on the 8th. So I will let you guys know after they come and, and everything's been settled, uh, what has been decided and kind of what our situation's gonna be in the living room. The next project, which is a very small project, but something I've been putting off, is going to be um, fixing the baseboards in the laundry room when we had the flooring put in there last year. The guy obviously had to take the quarter round off to put the new flooring in and when he put it back it's not been caulked or repainted so i want to do that um the only thing that i've just been putting dragging my feet about is just because it's annoying because you have to like i have to do one side of the room let it dry and then my husband will have to move the washer and dryer i'll climb behind there and do it behind that let it dry and then put everything back so it's not a hard job it's just something i haven't done yet and then I also need to decide about the landing shelf. And I, I've told you this guy this before too. Like I, it drives me crazy because I never can find stuff that I want to put on there. I'll show you when we go downstairs. I'll take you with me and kind of show you why it's a problem. But anyway, my goal this year is to decide either keep the landing shelf and finalize and figure out decor for it or get rid of it. I'm done with my hair, I think. I'm gonna turn around and see what the back looks like. It's not at all what she did. Like it looks nothing like it did when she did it. It's still, I think, more loose and casual, which I do like, but it is definitely not what she did that I wanted. This is what it looks like, and I still like how it's loose. It's really, it feels a lot healthier. Like it was really, really heavy, and um, I feel like it was looking kind of not great. Oh, look how blue I look when I have no light on. Okay. This is the landing shelf that I was talking to you guys about. I have shown you this before. I've even done decorate with me videos with this landing shelf. This is like a floating shelf from Ikea and it almost goes like there's that much space on this side and that much space on that side. So it pretty much goes the entire width of the landing and in the fall and Christmas time we plug up some lights up here, so we decided to go ahead and put this little strip. Well, I don't like that because the cord still sticks out. Even when it's plugged up, it still is ugly. And when it's not fall and not Christmas time, I can't find any decor that looks right that I like. You have to be really careful when you're putting pictures on here because it's not a picture ledge, so things will tend to slide off. So I can't put a whole lot of pictures. I can't um, layer a whole lot of pictures because, you know, if you lean them, the only thing you can really lean is the one on the back and then everything in the front would be really slippery and so you can't lean them. And I just can't figure out what I like. So most of the time when it's not fall or Christmas, it looks like this. It's not even finished. I don't even like this stuff anymore. Because of the window right here and because the, the shelf is so close to the window, you can't really put anything that large because the window would be in the way. So if it's gonna be fairly large, it has to go on one side or the other. So what I was thinking, and it may not work out. I've, I've already tried this once before and I sent it back because it was too big. I thought about putting a, a table right here, but I can't put something very big because you know the landing's not very big and I don't want people to feel like they're like crammed when they come up and down the stairs. But I did finally find what I think is a more narrow table so it's not very deep, that may work out better. It may not, um, but that's kind of my thought process is like, if I can't find a table that's going to work, then I just need to get over it and figure out how to decorate this or take it down altogether and just not have anything. I don't know. That is an option too, but the table's not gonna be here until another like two weeks. So I'm not gonna be able to work on it in this video. Otherwise I would show you guys um, the progress of what I've decided this week, but I can't. So. 
just going forward, know that that's kind of a project in the works. And you guys let me know your opinion. What would you do? Would you just try to decorate this and leave it alone? Would you take it down and put a table? Or maybe would you just take everything out of here and do nothing? Or another option would be to do no table, no shelf, and maybe just hang some stuff. But again, I feel like it's kind of weird because of the window. I feel like it would look really boxy if you just hung stuff up there and had the window and then no shelf or no table. So I really need your guys' opinion. If you wanna leave it in the comments and let me know what would you do with this space, that would be really helpful. So anyway, that was a very, very long let's do my hair slash talk about home decor. Um, my, um, I'm waiting for some things to come in from Amazon today and then once they do, I'm gonna show you. I got a new purse and I got some new wallets. I'm really trying to downsize into a smaller purse, smaller wallet and just in general carry less stuff around. So once those things come in, I'm gonna actually do a kind of what's in my purse video inside this week in the life just because I don't know that I've ever done that. If I have, it's been years and years and years and years ago. But I figured that would be a perfect time to figure out like what do I actually need to carry, what don't I need to carry, and then some things that I've always had in my purse that you guys might want to put in yours as well. Okay, so it's about 1.30 and the couch guy just left. He did buy it and um, paid cash for it, which blows my mind because I would never pay cash for something that I bought from somebody I didn't know and then not take the item with me. So. I just can't believe that he did that because they don't want it for another week or so and he just gave us cash and said okay well I'll be back in a few weeks so I, I guess that's a good sign that it was meant to be. It's still a really good couch and they got a really good deal. I think maybe we should have asked more for it but when we listed it like I said we thought we had less time to get rid of it than we actually do now and so it's kind of like well oops you know we may maybe could have listed it for higher and sold it for more but it's okay, it was a very easy sale, like I said, because he just gave us cash and then he's gonna come back and pick it up in a week or two. So that's done, now the key is to make sure that it doesn't get destroyed between now and the week or two later when he comes to pick it up. I was like, we've had it for so many years and then watch something horrible happen to it and then we have to give his money back. So let's hope that doesn't happen. But I did come in here and clean up the kitchen just to kind of give it a reset. It was needing, it was fine and we cleaned it yesterday. Uh, like all the way down to like mopping and stuff but last night dinner spilled over on the stove and then Loki had tracked some mud in so I just kind of mopped over there unloaded and reloaded the dishwasher wiped down all counters and everything so it's a fresh start for tomorrow also we ordered a new water filter because our fridge we just got it back in the fall and it tells you when you need to get a new water filter uh, it's the first one we've ever had to replace for this refrigerator because we just got this back in the fall. Like I said, and the filters are supposed to last about six months. It's supposed to tell you when it needs to be changed. So my husband went to take the girls skating for a few hours and then he's gonna pick that up while he's out. Unfortunately, the water filters are $50 a piece. So I realize that's not that much over the course of a year, you know, it's $100 a year. But I was like, man, that's an expensive water filter. So anyway, he's gonna go get that and take them skating for a few hours. I have a few hours to myself um, so what my plan is, other than talking to you guys, is to film a video. I have actually two videos I need to film, but I think I'm just going to film the one. Uh, I have been getting some questions about the history curriculum that I'm using with my oldest. It's the U.S. History Detective curriculum. I did a video a couple weeks ago about my favorite high school curriculum, and that was in that video, and a lot of people wanted to see that, that curriculum in particular, like, a dedicated video about it and a, a little flip through and you know a peek at the table of contents and all that so I'm gonna film that while they're skating and then um, hopefully I'll have time to exercise too it's a 40 minute workout today and I'm hoping I have a chance to do that if I do get to work out it's actually a bonus workout because I worked out an extra day last week I don't normally so technically I don't have to work out today but I kind of should because I've been behind in general over the last few weeks. I've really been struggling with that. And my hope is that in a few hours, I'm going to go relieve my husband where he's watching the girls and skating with him right now. In a few hours, if I have that video filmed, then I can take my computer with me and I can actually edit it while they're finishing up their skating and then we'll come home. And somebody is like psycho texting me. I don't know who it is. <laughs> Let me see who it is because, oops, here's my phone. Okay, it was just my husband telling me that they're there because I always 
worry until someone gets where they're going. Okay, so this is a purse that I got. Not an expensive purse. It came from Kohl's. I had one that was a little bit smaller than this. I got the bigger one. Even though it's not that big, it's still bigger than uh, the other one they had. And it's probably, I don't know. I want to say it's not big enough. But really, I don't understand why I need a purse even as big as I had because I don't, I don't feel like I carry that much stuff. That's why I wanted to get a smaller wallet so, so I could try to carry a smaller purse. I got this one from Kohl's because I thought it was pretty and it's purple and it's really small. And basically it holds nothing but cards which is great if you have nothing to carry but cards. But typically I have, um, you know, sometimes I'll have some coupons, little coupons, or, um, you know, maybe tickets for something or something like that that I want to put in my wallet. And there's no room in this wallet to do that. This one, I do not like the way it looks. I personally think it's ugly. It does come with a little thing here and it came with a strap if you want to make it into a wristlet. I definitely feel like this one has a lot more room and it's a lot more flexible. So for that reason alone, I'm going to try this one first. I can't guarantee I'm going to keep it, but it already is a lot more like movable and malleable. So ID, lots of room for credit cards, a spot for change, a spot for cash. There's also a zippered compartment in the cash section. So overall, I just feel like this is more what I want to carry. Um, even though I don't like the way it looks. I'm gonna switch all my credit cards into this. I am not gonna do that on camera, obviously, because I don't want my credit card numbers to be shown, but I'll switch them and then I will come back and finish packing up this new purse just to see how it works out. Okay, so that's all packed up. It had room for all of my credit cards and our insurance cards and then also um, the gift cards that I have. And that's one thing I recommend to you guys if you are kind of in a constant state of looking for home decor like I am. Um, it never hurts to carry either a tape measure or one of those little tiny, um, or a measuring tape, I guess, or one of those little tiny tape measures because you never know when you're going to be out and you find something and then you don't know if it's the right size. It may save you from having to buy something and then return it because it didn't fit if you had something like this in your purse. So I'm going to put that in the front section. This is the biggest, the biggest compartment besides the inside. So maybe I should put things in there like my pills. I am gonna look for another pill container. For now, I'm gonna have to put those in there like that. Um, my hand sanitizer, my eye drops, that. Um, I'm gonna throw this away and put a new one in there because this thing is disgusting. I'll put my pen back in there. Um, obviously my phone would be going in the big section. I don't know. That's the problem with carrying pills and like stuff like that. It takes up a lot of room. These jars, they take up quite a bit of room. So I was like, would it take up any less room if I had one container that was more flat that would hold everything? And I don't know yet. So anyway, okay. So wallet and phone are in the big section and a pen. I'm gonna throw that pen away because I don't like it. I need to put my mints somewhere. I guess I can put the mints in the back with my lip products in this back section. And should the clippers go with the mints or should they go with the pills? I'll put it with the mints, I guess. Put them on the bottom. I feel like the hand sanitizer should be in there too because that's where the Clorox wipes are, but then it makes that one section really puffy. But you know, it still gives me plenty of room. So I think I'm gonna leave it that way for a while and see if I feel like it's in the way and that's it. So I think it's pretty cute. It was around, I think it was like $45 for this purse. I don't know how long it's gonna last. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about the short, like the more narrow strap. I'm more used to a wide strap. I think they're more comfortable, but I think it's pretty cute. It's still pretty heavy, um, but it definitely held everything I needed it to hold and we're gonna give it a whirl and see if I like it long-term. But I thought it'd be fun to kind of change it over with you guys and show you like trying to switch from a bigger purse to a smaller one. And then also what's in my purse. I just took a shower and put on clean socks, obviously. And I wanted to ask you guys, does this happen to you? Just this week alone, I have probably thrown away six or seven socks that were getting worn out and getting holes in the bottom. Like just this week, what is happening? What is causing this strange enigma that are all my socks are getting holes in them at the same time? And they're not all the same age. I've gotten new socks. I've had older socks. I don't understand. Does this happen to you guys where it just seems like Either you run out of something all at once or you everything you have like socks or underwear or whatever gets holes in it at the same time. It's really, really bizarre, but I guess it's time for me to buy more socks. These are my favorite socks. This is the Hue brand and they have like these little 
kind of ribs at the bottom. So they really like hug your arches and they're really comfortable. Uh, but I guess I need to get some more. I'm back in my closet again. I wanted to share you guys something that I have recently discovered the magic of sweatshirts. Like I am just now getting on the sweatshirt bandwagon, which is kind of funny. Well, this one doesn't belong cause it's older and I never liked it and I still don't like it. But these sweatshirts from Kohl's are like the most comfortable ever. And I've actually got four of them now. I'm probably gonna get some more. I've got the purple one that I'm wearing, this blue one, this mint one, this pink one, and I love them. And I know a lot of people talk about the Walmart sweatshirts and maybe there are some that have fleece, but the ones that I saw didn't have fleece. And I like these because they have fleece on the inside. They have a thumb hole if you like that. I usually just fold mine back so they kind of stay out of the way. But they're like the best thing ever and I definitely plan to get a few more just because I love wearing them around the house or I wear them out if I'm just feeling kind of comfortable and casual and not wanting to wear something too fussy. They're amazing. So highly recommend the Kohl's, what brand is it? the tech gear sweatshirts. They're amazing. Hey guys, it's a new day and I just got a little bit presentable for today, even though we're not going anywhere because it's snowing. It snowed all night last night. It's still snowing. And it's just one of the many reasons why I like homeschooling because I don't have to go anywhere today. My daughter had a hair appointment, but I canceled that last night as soon as I saw that it was supposed to snow all night. I went ahead and canceled it and rescheduled for next week. So we'll see how that goes. So we don't have anywhere to be today. So we're just going to be doing homeschool, hanging around the house. And then, like I mentioned, I think yesterday, um, I do want to start working on fixing the laundry room baseboards. And so the first step in that process is to finish the ironing. I've been really behind on ironing. I haven't ironed in, well, I haven't personally ironed in a long time because usually my oldest daughter does it. Um, but she's gonna be busy all day with school today. So I'm gonna be doing the ironing and that will get the ironing basket empty So that will be moved out of the way and then I can do the baseboards on the one side of the wall and then once they dry uh, Maybe tomorrow my husband can move the washer and dryer out. I'll get behind there and do the other side. So that's the plan um, The main plan out of the ordinary is just to do the ironing today and then just hanging around the house doing homeschool and stuff like that so I'll show you guys the snow here in a minute. I mean, it's not like a blizzard, but it did snow all night and it looks like it's pretty frozen on the roads. So definitely won't be going anywhere today. Hey Loki, you're gonna be cold. Easy. So we got quite a bit of snow last night. You can look on the table and the chair. It's not completely covering the grass. But look at the fence, that's so funny. And the trees back there. It's still snowing a little bit. This is why we put out bird seed and keep it out all year long because little guys like this come and visit. And we haven't seen our squirrel friend in a while, but these little birds have been coming and they don't seem to want to get on the table. So I put some on the ground and there's little tiny cute footprints. If you can see like all over the snow where they're coming to eat. Look at all the little footprints. They're so cute. And somebody's been on the table, but I don't know if it's those little birds or if the squirrel came and I just didn't see him today. But he usually comes every day. Are you all snowy? Did you get all snowy? Oh, Loki. <laughs> He's got little snowflakes all over him, don't you? Look what you did to the floor. I just fixed that yesterday. Don't rub against me. You're wet. Shh. Okay, I'm in the laundry room and I'm trying to be quiet because the girls are still asleep. But this is my basket of ironing. It's not as bad as it looks because it's mostly stacked on top. It's not like this is all the way full. But this is kind of what I need to work through today and then move that because it doesn't belong in here. And you can kind of see you can kind of see down here where, I mean, it looks like I did caulk it, but I never sanded or painted over top of all that. So that is the plan to at least start the process today. I don't know that I'll get to painting today, but it definitely shouldn't be a problem to get the ironing done today. you guys something funny apparently I have given birth to horses because both of my girls are obsessed with oats and I get these big giant ones from Whole Foods 
they're 42 ounces per container and if like not long ago my husband went to the store and he bought three of them and in nine days between the two girls they polished off two of them so I went back to the store the other day and I got four of them because hopefully that will last long enough but what they usually end up doing is having it for breakfast and as a snack before bed so oats go pretty quickly around here and I thought that was kind of funny that I wanted to share with you guys so maybe for their birthdays or for Valentine's Day I should get them a feed bag so that way it'd be a lot easier to eat their oats <laughs> Okay, so I finished all the ironing and hung it right here in this little thing in our living room closet because I iron in the living room, I hang it on this rack, and then when we go upstairs, we can take it up. So I did finish that. And then in here, all I managed to do today was vacuum and wipe off the baseboards really well, at least the ones that I can reach. And I brought the caulk in and the wood filler so that tomorrow, um, I'm not going to have time to do it today, I don't think, but tomorrow when I go to do this, it'll be room temperature because it's been out in the garage. So the plan is I do this section as far as I can. I can do this section uh, with the washer and dryer the way that it is. And then my husband's gonna have to pull these out and we're gonna have to do it in pieces on the sides and in the back behind, each, behind the washer and the dryer. So that is the progress for today. I'm pretty pleased with it because at least now that I've started it, I should be able to commit to finishing it. And I got the ironing done, which makes me feel pretty good because that's been hanging over my head for a while. Hey guys, it is a new day. It's bright and sunny outside, which I'm super excited about. It melted all the snow that was on the roads. And then last night, after my husband got off work, we actually had a somewhat of an impromptu date night um, back in 2020 and then also 2021. Kind of an ongoing goal that I have is date nights with him dates date nights with each girl and then more family kind of dating events and we did that in the beginning of 2020 and then you know everything fell apart in march so that didn't last very long so starting with this new year we did have a date night or a date afternoon um one in january we did one last night we went out to eat and just ran errands nothing like serious but it was really fun and then um we'll probably get another one for valentine's day so that should be two for february um so we did that which was nice and then today we're having a family date we are actually going to an escape room which none of us have ever done before i'm really curious to see if i'm going to be just dead weight the entire time or if i'm actually going to be able to contribute um i don't know i picked the most themed immersive one that i could find just because if i was going to do one i don't want it to just be like a boring room i want it to be something really thematic so i picked one that is supposed to be a castle I think that'll be really fun so we're gonna do that first we're gonna go have lunch it is 12 o'clock and our escape room is at 2 30 so we've got time to have lunch and run a few errands but before we leave um, I wanted to kind of fill you in on my um, ancestry DNA kit that I did if you watch my channel and you've watched for a while back before Christmas I did I got um, ancestry kits for all of us all four of us just to see kind of what our ethnicity is. It's really fun to see like all of us, but for me, I thought it'd be really fun to share with you guys because I was pretty shook um, about the results. I've been told and believed and thought my whole life, Irish, 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 which makes sense because of the skin, the hair, and the temper. Um, but come to find out, surprisingly enough, I am mostly English, 48% England and Northwestern Europe. So that's 48%, that's the most of all of my dif different um, countries. Then 29% Scottish, only 8% Irish, 7% Swedish, which Scotland, Ireland, and Sweden could probably contribute to the skin, and Norway, and 5% Norwegian, so again, pale skin. 3% Wales, and, and then less than 1% Senegal. So I was really, really surprised that I'm more English than anything. And then also secondly, that I'm more Scottish than I am Irish. I'm okay with that. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I just think it's funny because I've always thought we were more Irish. And Scottish people have red hair too, a lot of them. And they also can have really fair skin. So it still makes sense. Just kind of surprising. So I thought I would share that with you guys since I did tell you way back in, I guess, November that we were getting that done. So that was the first thing um that is the plan for the today is actually to go to this go to the escape room and do that and have a family date so we're getting ready to leave i want to show you a few things i got from amazon you guys know i talked about the the enigma of all of my socks getting holes in them at the same time like all of them after i got rid of all the pairs that had holes or were getting holes in them i literally had two and a half pairs of socks so thank goodness for amazon's quick delivery because i got two packs of my favorite socks six pairs so 12 pairs total yay for having more socks 
I also got this lint remover. It's like one of those fabric shavers. So when you get the little like weird nubs and picks, you can use this to get them off. My grandmother had one of these as a kid. I thought it was the most amazing thing ever to go around the house and like shave everything. So we needed one of these for some of our, I think some of our clothes and stuff like that. So I picked that up and it was really cheap and got really good reviews. And then I also picked up this for my youngest daughter we are using this for spelling we've been using this for spelling for a while she just finished up or she's almost finished with the book she's working through right now so i went ahead and got the next level this is evan moore's building spelling skills i really like this because it is a traditional no fuss no muss approach to spelling i looked at some other things and i was like why would i do that when we already use this it's already been effective we already love it and it's very, very inexpensive. So I picked up another one of those. Anyway, that is the scoop for now. And then um, I will check in back with you guys after we get back, after we've done the escape room and let you know how it was and close out the video because this is going to be the last day in this week in the life video. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I guess this, we gotta get a key to get through this. Merlin's power is great and his soul is tortured. Arrange the letter to bring his spirit forward. Right, the letters down there. It's a mirror for I don't know. Probably the letters sense. all underneath the thing there. See them? Yeah. Okay, it is four o'clock, and we just got back from running a few errands, having lunch, and going to the escape room. It was really fun. We did not manage to escape in one hour. We were like two things away. Well, it wasn't even two things away. There was three rooms you had to go through. We were already in the last room, and there was four clues that you had to have and put in like this magic cauldron thing and we had two of the four things we would have had to have had and then we would have had to gone back upstairs and put them in the cauldron and like wave wand thing so well, we didn't make it we only had an hour and we had to ask for clues i think three times because like the people that are watching you while you're in the room that work there they can see you and you can ask them for clues so we asked for clues i think three times and so that was kind of weird. And I think it makes it extra embarrassing to know that somebody is watching you like try to figure this out and struggle through it. But it was really fun. I think the girls really especially loved it. And it was a great like family teamwork type of activity. And another thing that I think was really neat about it is, especially right now with COVID and everything, at least the two places that I've called that are local to us, once you're in your escape room whatever room you pick you don't have to wear a mask which i mean would make sense that you wouldn't have to but you know you never know these days and so i think that's really nice because if you're trying to find things you can do with your family and your friends and you don't want to have to wear a mask the whole time the places near us don't require you to wear a mask once you're out of the lobby so that was really nice um and my girls liked it so much my oldest actually her birthday's in a few weeks she actually said that she wants to do that again for her birthday a different room so i think it was really fun i really recommend it and we had a great time. So we're home now. My oldest is back working on school. My youngest is done with school for today. I did school with her this morning and then she finished all her work before we left. So I usually have one or one or both of the girls to fold and unload a laundry, a load of laundry every day. And just so happens there's a load of laundry in the um, load of towels in the dryer right now. So she's gonna fold that. My oldest daughter is working on school and I will probably start working on editing this video this week in the life. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know if you like them, if you want to see more and some suggestions that you may have for things that you would like to see me do in future weekly vlog videos or things that I've done in the past that you want to see more of. I try to do a little bit of a mix of everything between homeschooling and mom life and working from home because that is all things those are all things that I do um so let me know in those categories what other things you would like for me to do and show in the weekly videos I'll try to add those things in here and there as they feel natural to me so make sure that if you are not subscribed that you go ahead and hit the subscribe button before you head out I would really appreciate it and I will see you guys in the next video bye